Well, social media cannot stop talking about Beyonce, who stole the show Saturday night, looking amazing, by the way. But she could not stop crying because Tyler Perry made history as the first black American to own a major film studio, which he celebrated with his A-list friends in Atlanta. CBS This Morning talked to him about how he thinks of his role in Hollywood. I clearly believe that I'm, I'm ignored in Hollywood for sure, and that's fine. I get it. Is, and wait a second, is that fine? It is. My audience and the stories that I tell are African American stories specific to a certain audience, specific to a certain group of people that I know that I grew up with, and we speak a language. Hollywood doesn't necessarily speak the language. A lot of critics don't speak that language. And more celebs flock to the grand opening, including Oprah, Spike Lee, Samuel L. Jackson, and Tiffany Haddish. Wow. So do you think yeah. that this will create more change in Hollywood, Erica? Who cares? <laughs> Honestly, really? who yeah. cares? Um, Tyler Perry has been very vocal about the fact that God's re re or life's rejections are God's protections. Had he done something in Hollywood, he would have been dreaming too small. The dream was much bigger, and he was rejected for a reason, so that he could be the most successful mogul Hollywood ever ignored. So who cares? Well, Erica, There's always a lane. And speaking about bigger, Ava DuVernay uh, had a tweet this weekend, and she says, fun fact, the studio lots of Disney, Warner Brothers, Paramount, Fox, and Sony could fit inside of Tyler Perry's new studio lot, and there would still be 60 acres to spare, all on a former Confederate Army base. Yep. A stunning achievement that will echo through the generations. Do you I want mean, me to tell you a little bit more about that please. space? Oh, it's amazing. So 330 acres. Uh, they have a replica of a fancy hotel lobby, 50,000 square feet of permanent set so they can film TV shows. You also saw the uh, White House set just there in the video. There's a 16,000 foot square foot mansion that they can film in. And then they have a trailer park set, 12 sound, stage, sound stages. My favorite part is he moved in a real 1950s diner. So he found one about 100 miles away and was like, that's the diner I want. It's perfect. So then he, they took the diner, relocated it to his film set. So they've got everything there. They can film TV shows, award shows, movies, all of the above. So very cool. He just seems like a cool guy. He's like, well, he had a, remember he talk. paid yeah. all those, uh, all the people's uh, layaway uh, stuff yeah. for Christmas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you yeah. talked to him. Right? Twice. Yeah, I talked he, to him. I was intimidated, obviously. I'll be honest, like, he's not only just, he's just so successful. It's like, why am I talking to this? Why would you talk to me? <laughs> seems but he's humble. so humble but that's why, and so that's cool. Why